Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Robbie. And if you're here today, there is a good chance that you saw my first booty workout. I'm so excited, we're gonna do it all again today. We're gonna push ourselves really, really hard. This is actually the second workout in my ebook. So if you're here, I'm really excited, let's do it. It's gonna be a tough one today, but I'm gonna be with you every step of the way. I'm not gonna warm up and stretch right now, but if you're looking for that video, I'm gonna link it right here. Go ahead and click above. I do always advise to warm up and stretch before you do any type of workout, just so that you're safe. Let's get started. Now that we've finished warming up, let's get into our first set of exercises, which is going to be fire hydrants. So do a 60 second round, or if you prefer, you can do 12 to 15 reps on each side. As always, form is so important, so make sure that you're starting on all fours with your wrist stacked directly beneath your shoulders and your hips straight over your knees. It's really important to draw your belly in towards your spine, keep your back flat, and move one leg up to a 90 degree angle, lift your leg out to one side, and stop at hip height. This is a great exercise for targeting several key areas within your body, including your glutes, your hips, and of course your core. Even though this exercise is tough, it's definitely one of my favorite because it allows you to strengthen and sculpt multiple muscle groups at one time. Moving on to the next exercise, let's get into some skater lunges. We're going to be doing 10 reps on each side. If you prefer, you can do this as a jump, but as you can see, I'm doing as a step. This is a great dynamic exercise that mimics the movement of a skater on ice. It really focuses on your glutes, your hamstrings, your inner thighs, and because you're pushing off of one leg and landing on the other, it also helps to focus on your hip and your ankle mobility. Let's get straight into the next round. We're going to be doing a 60 second wall sit. Make sure that your back is flat against the wall. Place your feet firmly on the ground about shoulder width apart and slide your back all the way down the wall until you're at a 90 degree angle. Your knees should be directly above your ankles and not pushing out in front of them at all. As you're holding this position, make sure that you're contracting and tensing your ab muscles so that you can get the maximum result from this movement. If you're finding the 90 degree movement challenging, you can shorten the amount of time or you can instead sit at a 45 or 30 degree angle angle instead of a 90 degree angle. Let's move on to donkey kicks. We're going to be doing 15 reps on each side here. As you start, start on all fours with your knees hip width apart, with your hands under your shoulders and your neck and your spine both neutral. Bracing your core, begin to lift one leg with your knee staying bent and your foot flat and hinge at the hip. Use your glute to press your foot directly towards the ceiling and squeeze at the top. Make sure that your pelvis and your working hip stay pointed towards the ground and then return to starting position. Next, let's get into jumping jacks. There's going to be 35 reps in this set. These are guaranteed to get your heart racing. This is an explosive aerobic movement. It's going to increase your speed, your quickness, and the power within your whole body. As you're doing this movement, it's really important that you're jumping on a flat, even surface. Make sure that you're wearing supportive athletic shoes. And as always, of course, listen to your body. Make sure you slow down, you stop, or you modify the exercise if you're experiencing any discomfort. Thank you. 
That was a killer. I hope you guys enjoyed that workout as much as I did. I definitely am feeling the burn right now. I only did one round on camera, but if you're really wanting to push yourself, as I know you guys do, you can definitely do three to four rounds depending how much time you have. As always, guys, be safe. Thank you for working out with me. If you want to see more of this style of content, make sure you hit that red subscribe button to join the Jam Fam. As always, guys, I love you. Be safe, and I will see you here next week.